welcome back to Ireland AM. You all right, the ragu? Oh. He feels so posh. He feels so posh. garlic bread, Edward Edward Hayden, gorgeous. Um, Now, Derek, he has been checking out the University of Limerick, his old alma mater this morning for Science Week. Derek, how are you getting on? Yes, good morning team and welcome down here to the grounds of the University of Limerick. My old alma mater. I cannot believe I've got out of here over 20 years. Neither can we. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, good morning to you guys. Morning. Uh, Glenn and George are here from Go Fly Your Kite. Uh, Science Week course kicking off. We'll get into that in a few moments time. But first up, Glenn, tell us about Go Fly Your Kite. Tell us about the idea behind it. The idea came from my four-year-old son 10 years ago. I bought him a kite in a shop and on the way out of the shop he said, Dad, wouldn't it be great if I could put a picture on the kite? And of course, parents being parents, we just wanted to bundle them into the car and away we went. And he just talked about it and talked about it. So we put it into practice and we did, we trialled five different kites on a really stormy day. And the kites that the children use for Science Week are really robust. So we now do a staggering 25,000 kites a year. 25,000? Yeah. I mean, your workshops have exploded, not yeah. only here in Ireland, but also yeah. abroad. Abroad as well, yeah, especially during uh, COVID, we were doing workshops in um, Italy, France in the morning and Cork in the afternoon, which virtually you couldn't, you know, you couldn't have done that ever. But uh, yeah, we do all do different workshops. We do STEM, we do art, we do uh, literacy workshops, uh, cultural workshops, St. Bridget's, and our next big major mm. cultural one in February for St. Bridget 1500. Um, but it's, it's just, it's much more than the kite. It's about the child them having uh, equal opportunity to trace the template onto the kite. We build it, show them, about, tell them about flight, the science behind it, building it, and it's their kite to fly, and hopefully they'll get out after the workshop here to fly them. And as you said, Len, this is where it all starts, you know, in primary schools, getting them interested in science. Yeah, it, it's crucial to get them at this age. We were yesterday in a school, and one of the teachers said all three of her children started at a young age with uh, Connect, you know, uh, Meccano, and um, putting things together, and that's why part of the engineering in the kite is so important. We're getting children to be able to bend things, try, feel, and um, manipulate it and her all three of her children the teacher they all went to school uh, they're all in university doing engineering so, but she, she gave them those those tools at a very young age young age and getting yeah. them to think then mechanically yeah. you know going forward if they yeah. if they want to get into yeah. science yeah. Uh, science week course george kicking off all this week down yeah. here at the university of limerick yeah you will have an absolutely crammed pack um program of stuff and you know we're talking about children some of the stuff at UL here is for older people as well so that kind of looking after yourself the science behind that uh, and of course the stuff here all week on ICT on sports amazing animals so there's there's something for everybody and no matter you uh, children wise coming from school there's something that's going to interest and tease them and as Glenn said you know this kind of thing today there's that mindfulness as well and you know children sitting drawing in a kite very old-fashioned but you know there's silence when they get into it and there's that ownership and that kind of kind of kind of self satisfying thing that they've done something created as something that's going to last for weeks and months and you've got your own kids as well and they you started off with them too yeah well that's it you know and you you know you learn by your own mistakes and you, you you learn with your own children what works what doesn't work and you know and this is where this kind of idea kind of was created a little home business home industry uh, you know this year we got a, a massive opportunity to go to Eurovision and uh, we were selected as the only Irish creative to go across there and work in Ukraine work in Liverpool and that uh, we had children in Ukraine, four cities there and in Merseyside and they all came together flying their kites. We actually had one boy and he was a Ukrainian displaced in Liverpool and I was showing the Instagram from the day before and he goes, oh those are my friends and I was going, he says, no but they are my real friends, that's my old school and there he was sitting in Liverpool but yet connecting with the, with his friends thousands of miles away. Now we're going to chat to our young little budding scientists here this morning. Uh, good morning to you Luke. Good morning. And tell us, what are you making here this morning? A kite. And what have you learned about Science Week? What's your favourite thing about Science Week? Um, we get to learn more and it's exciting. It's exciting. And what do you want to be when you grow up? A rugby player or oh. soccer player. Oh, you want to be a rugby player, do you? Yeah. OK, well, fingers crossed for that good man, Luke. We're going to pop over here to Charlie. And Charlie, what's your favourite thing about Science Week? Um, it's exciting. And what have you learned this week? 
um, that you can fly a kite in the sky. Yeah, and especially with the weather we've been having at the moment, what do you want to be when you grow up? An astronaut. Oh, you want to be an astronaut, do you? <laughs> there we go, he's heading off to space. We're going to pop over here to Tlina. Good morning to you, Tlina. Can you tell us how to? Tell me again, Ma. I'll tell you how to learn to learn to And tell us, uh, have you enjoyed Science Week? Yes. Great, and what have you learned this week? I've learned that, like, what stuff, what can fly, and, like, um... And are, are you interested in science? Yes. You are. And what do you want to be when you grow up? A pilot or a teacher. You want to be a pilot or a teacher in that order, right? Gormila Mahago Tatina. And finally, we're going to pop over here to young little Tommy. Good morning to you, Tommy. Good morning. Good morning. And tell us, have you enjoyed Science Week? Yeah. And what have you learned, Tommy, about Science Week? Um, how to make a kite and how to, and how to um, see inside of a beehive. A beehive as well, and you really enjoy that. And tell me, you know our, our main anchor of the show is Tommy Bo. Have you, do you know Tommy? No. Have you ever, have you ever heard of Tommy? Mm, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> but you can say hello to Tommy and get them a little wave there. Good morning. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe one day, would you like to meet Tommy? He's a big rugby player. Uh, yeah. You would like to meet him one day. And tell me, what do you want to be when you grow up? Um, a marine biologist. A marine biologist? And a singer. And a singer as well. Maybe you can sing under the sea. How about that? No. <laughs> All right, guys. Uh, fantastic. Yeah. And you see, the kids really enjoy yeah. it, right? Exactly. Yeah. It's really uh, attractive. Of opportunities. And, you know, anyone yeah. across the country, yeah. uh, they can log on to sfi.ie. They have county by county. So the programmes yeah. are there. And ul.ie have their full programme there yeah. as well. All right. right. There you have it, guys. Uh, thanks so much. Lots of fun. Lots of learning here in the grounds of the University of Limerick. Tommy, unfortunately, He's never heard of you. <laughs> Back to you in the studio. <laughs> Sorry, Tommy. I well know. done, little Tommy, the singer. Look forward to seeing you on stage. And of course, a marine biologist, with astronauts and we're everything else. We're starting that now. So there's going to be a brand new talent show for Marie to create a marine biologist singer. We're going to do it yeah. here, guys. It's yeah, going to be exactly. amazing for you, Tommy. I look forward <laughs> to that. Uh, well done to everybody down there as well. Oh, Science lovely. Week, amazing. Just. Yeah. Uh, we found the one person who doesn't know who you are. Oh, it's real good. He's just going to go hang out with him now so he doesn't have that all the time. Uh, coming up on Ireland AM, we're going to be speaking to Bernie Collins who raced to the top in Formula One. Yeah, we're getting expert tips on how to style shirts on the catwalk. Plus, uh, Forager Phoebe shows us how to keep our cleaning products au naturel. Fabulous. <laughs> Talk to you in a minute. In the next hour.